Hi, uh, welcome. Uh, today we're going to do a light and shortened ASMR version of an exercise called PMR, or Progressive Muscle Relaxation. Uh, this is an exercise in which you practice tensing and releasing various muscles to retrain yourself to be aware of your levels of body stress. Studies have shown that it can help you to lower your overall tension and levels or it can also just help you relax or stabilize if you suffer from anxiety or depression or it can help you to get into a resting state if you have um, insomnia. But yeah, it's not just for people with these issues. Um, today we'll do a lighter version of the exercise purely for relaxation's sake and hopefully we can get into a slightly tingly state of ASMR relaxation too. Uh, just before we begin I'll just explain a little more about it. So PMR is a two-step process. First you systematically tense particular muscle groups in your body you release the tension and try to notice how your muscles feel when you relax them. So, when we're stressed, our muscles are often so tense throughout the day that we totally forget what being relaxed feels like. And we often get into a habit of ignoring our body's signals. But um, by using we can retrain ourselves to distinguish between tensed and relaxed muscles. So, when we're feeling stressed, we become aware of the need to relax again. For the sake of the session, it doesn't matter too much whether you're sitting or lying down, just as long as you have a quiet, comfortable place. Um, you can do the exercise with your eyes open by fixing on some object in the distance or say to a certain point on a wall you're facing or you can do it with your eyes closed which is what I personally prefer but maybe I'm just lazy I just like to spend time staring at the inside of my eyelids <laughs> um, either way though, the more you practice it the quicker the relaxation response will kick in when you really need it. So you can practice it at any time. You don't need to be stressed. In fact, it's better to be calm when you do first try it because um, you won't be distracted by too many issues. And, of course, if you drift off to sleep at any point, that's great too. It means the exercise is working and you got really, really relaxed. Either that or it means you were up late or you had one glass of wine too many or I've bored you to sleep but those options are fine too um, so let's begin so start out by closing your eyes and letting your body go all loose and floppy yeah. we're going to take five slow Stretching or adjusting your position, go ahead. Two, in, and out. That's it, get nice and comfortable. Three, in, and out. Perfect. Keep your breath nice and deep. Four, in. Inflate your lungs completely and then relax again. Out. Excellent. Five in. And out. Great. Now you can just let your breathing return to normal. So. 
the main technique for tensing and relaxing the muscles is the same regardless of which muscle group you're targeting. What you want to do is uh, tense them just enough that you can really notice the change in your muscle, but not so tight that they feel really uncomfortable. In terms of the way you order the exercise, you might work from session though I'm going to shift around the body a little just uh, begin with the face and end in your center around your chest so we'll begin up top in a second you'll take a deep breath in through your nose and hold it for a few seconds scrunching up your face as much as you can so closing your eyes tight and clenching your jaw don't worry that you look like Popeye, nobody's looking at you. Okay, let's do that now. Breathe in and scrunch your face up. Excellent. Hold it there for a moment. Now breathe out and relax. And as you breathe out, notice the difference between your tensed face and the relaxed face. Let's do it again. So breathe in and close your eyes really tight and clench your jaws. Good. And hold. Now relax again. Take note of how your face feels as it relaxes. Yeah. Good. That's it. Okay. Next we're going to shift to the feet and lower legs. So for this muscle group, you need to um, curl your feet and toes up and tense your calf muscles. Okay, so if you have any trouble with that, think about my goofy little jokes and they'll be sure to make your toes curl. <laughs> okay, now let's do that now. Take a deep breath in. Lift your feet up and curl your toes. And keep them tense. And now breathe out and relax. Feel yourself relaxing. Yeah. Let's do it again. We're going to take a deep breath in. Tense your feet. And that's it. Hold. And now let go and feel them relaxing again. Feel the calmness. Next muscle group we'll move on to is the mouth. During this breath, you'll open your mouth wide enough to stretch the hinges of your jaw. Okay, let's do that now. Breathe in and open your mouth. Excellent, nice and wide. You can move your head side to side like a clown and waiting for a ping pong ball if you like. <laughs> now relax, noticing the difference in your muscle tension. Let's do it again. Breathe in and open that jaw up. That's it. Hold it there. And now breathe out and relax. Notice your jaw. All the tension coming out of it. Perfect. I think you've got the hang of it now. So the next exercise is your upper leg muscles. Take a deep breath and squeeze your thigh muscles on both sides. That's it. Squeeze them nice and tight. Breathe in and hold. And now you can relax. Can you feel the tension in your legs dissipating as you relax? Let's do 
good again. So deep breath in and squeeze those upper thighs like you would if you were squatting down for a booty shake. Nice and tight, that's good. And now relax and breathe out. to the way they relaxed again. And with all the calmness sort of floating into the rest of your body. Yeah, that's good. So now we'll focus on the neck and shoulders. So for this part you'll drop your head back and raise your shoulders up. So drop your head back like that and raise your shoulders up. So deep breath. your neck and shoulders and hold, hold, good. Now think what it would be like to walk around in public like that <laughs> and release. Can you feel your shoulders relaxing? Yeah. Shoulders are a major source of tension, so you could practice this one a couple more times, I think. Let's do it again, so, yeah. Deep breath. Drop your head back and raise your shoulders. Hold and now release. That's right. I'll do this one extra time. So drop your head back and raise your shoulders up now and breathe in. That's it. Hold. Good, good. Hold extra. And now release. Excellent. So the next area we're going to work on is your pelvic floor muscles. Uh, have you heard of Kegel exercises? Um, so for this you need to tighten the muscles in your buttocks and groin area. Not so hard that you feel uncomfortable. In fact, it can be quite a pleasant sensation. So if you want to try it now, just take a deep breath and squeeze your pelvic floor. Good. Now hold nice and long. Yes, now breathe out and relax. Was that fine? I hope it wasn't too pleasant and you might still pay attention. <laughs> okay, let's do it once more. Deep breath in. Squeeze those pelvic floor muscles. Yeah, hold that tension. Now breathe out and relax again. Let's just do that one more time because it's quite nice. <laughs> Breathe in. Hold those pelvic floor muscles in here. Uh, yeah, now let it all out. <laughs> That's good. Okay, now we're going to shift onto your arms. So, we'll do them both together. And the aim here is to tighten your biceps by clenching your fist and bending your arms slightly, as if you're flexing. So a bit like a bodybuilder on a stage, but without a fake tan. <laughs> okay, let's do that now. So deep breath, clench your fist, and bend your arms slightly to flex. Hold that pose, and release. Excellent. But wait, the crowd wants more. Let's do it again. Deep breath in again. Flex. Hold it. And release again. That's it. Can you feel the peace and calm? Just right. So we're nearly at the end already. And we're going to end now on the chest. There will be no silliness or joke for me now, I promise. You really just need to focus on your breathing. So for this, you need to tighten your chest by taking a deep breath and tensing up those back and chest muscles. So we're going to do it five times. Are you ready? So breathe in. That's good. 
good tits on the back and chest. And hold. And release again. That's it. Relax. And the second time. Breathe in. Breathe in and hold. Tense that chest. And relax again. Pay attention to the movements of the feet. And again, let's breathe in. now and uh, you did really well so if you like you can repeat the process now or later as many times as you want either by listening again or working around your body silently as you take it at your own pace um, or if you're you might be relaxed enough to be um, ready to drift off to sleep now thing I want to say is um, remember to encourage yourself so keep your self talk positive and remember you should always say nice things to yourself because no other bastard will <laughs> and remember to practice BMR whenever you can whether you're stressed or not this will make the exercise even more effective when you're really desperate to relax and at that point, your body will be able to respond out of habit. It's a bit like riding a bike, or like any other habit, like talking to yourself, or reading the ingredients list on your shampoo bottle every time you're in the shower. Okay. See you later. Bish, bish.